Hey everybody, welcome back. Really excited today, got the mail, got some aftermarket carbon fiber scales from Rogue Blade Works for my Benchmade Mini Freak, the uh, 565. So if you see my other videos, you probably know what's coming, but you gotta check out my other ones because this is a Mini Freak as well. And you can tell, as it's a first production run, not the limited uh, full-size version that was uh, out earlier this year. Which I have one of those and I compared both of these, but anyways, great, great aftermarket stuff you can get from Rogue Blade Works for many different knives. So check them out. I'll put a link down below. But I want to do a quick uh, scale swap and I say quick, so we'll see if we can make it happen. So let's take a look at these really quick before I put them on. Now this is all carbon fiber. You can see how it's contoured and milled out and I really like the, the sleekness of it and how smooth it is. Uh, you got some branding in there for Rogue. Everything else is milled out inside. And then let's look at the other one. And got the carbon fiber clip as well, which is awesome. You can see the distance on that. And you can just see the layering of that carbon fiber. So pretty happy with this, uh, just already, just in the look and feel of it. So anyways, hope you guys like this. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know uh, what you guys are using as, you know, anything after market. If you're doing anything when it comes to, I don't know, customizing. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, done some stuff with Rit dye. Changed to a little purple, a little navy blue, a little red. I'm trying to keep it, you know, somewhat legit without... Uh, getting too much into the knife building, I guess, or making. Now I do have some scale material coming from my Puko, which if you've seen the what's inside the Puko video, you'll know what's up with that because that one uh, is pretty sweet. Cut the handles off of it. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. But anyways, we'll get these off. Now obviously the stock Freak ones come with the soft black material and this harder kind of gray material like Efron plastic here. And, you know, these are going to be a little bit slimmer. Let's see if we can compare them. I think it's going to be comparable to the, the G10. A little bit slimmer with the contouring in here. And a little bit easier in and out of the pocket because of the material. I'm not getting snagged on. Because this stuff is really grippy. I mean, this, this Freak, the, this is Mini Freak, but the full-size Freak, the Mini Freak, very, very grippy, something you can use any conditions. And I just really like these carbon fiber ones. Have them in my bug out. Got the contoured ones that he started doing for the other mini freak. And they're a 10. So looks like I didn't get my bit for my pivot. So hold on just one second while I get that. But anyways, hope you guys are having a great holiday. And everything's going well with that. If not, let me know. And, well, where is my pivot for that? I guess I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Well, true knife preparation for disassembly. Got the uh, T10 here, I believe it is. Yep, for the pivot. So get that taken apart. Flat spot. Or a flat part of the pivot's gonna be on the right hand carry side. Take this one a little apart. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's still getting some shopping done and other stuff. And I just wanna get this video done and post it up in the weekend. Really appreciate you guys' support. I mean, I hit my 500 subscribers on YouTube here. This is pretty amazing this last year. So I really thank you guys and hope you enjoy the giveaways and really appreciate your guys' support and feedback as well. You know, I've got a lot of positive feedback and a lot of good suggestions from you guys about how you guys do things and what you'd like to see and some other stuff that I can maybe even help with. So anyways, there's the inside of that stock one. Pardon me, I got a little bit of a cold here, but we press on. This one here, push it out, clean that junk off of it. Looks like maybe a little bit of so before I push this one out, I'm gonna see if I can try this. And keep that one planted in there. 
hold every, hold everything together. Take the other side of the pivot off, which will then take off. Oh, left one, of course. You always gotta leave one screw in, right? Especially when you're filming it. That's all right. Makes it half the fun. Well, some great videos going on out there. A lot of people doing their end of the year. You no know, JT, JT's Knife Life is doing some holiday giveaway stuff. Everybody's really, really great in the community here. So let's see here. Let's put this side on. The other goal is super sharp knife. No need to get jabbed in the finger or anything. So let's see, two top front with backspacer, two middle axis liner, two front above the axis. So they give you kind of a detail of what screws you're gonna need. And these are all gonna be T8 that come from Rogue. So we'll do this one at the top here. And this time around, I'm not gonna use blue lube or anything to put it together because I want to see it go together first and if I need to make any adjustments I'll do that but hopefully I won't need to if you guys can see that a little bit Let's get that on there you see how this is held together and this back piece will go in here as well right here so it'll look pretty good anyways Trick is getting it all in at the same time. I'm having success at that. Which putting it together, keeping it together is the hardest part. I know, I know, I could tear it all apart and do it that way, but that's not half the fun. Let me know down in the comments what you're looking forward to for the beginning of the year. I know SHOT Show's coming up. Uh, have you guys heard any rumors, any great stuff coming out that you're excited for? Anything that you're uh, putting on your Christmas list? I know I got a couple of them out there, so see if any of those come true. Uh, two middle, two top front backspacer. those put on as well these are two front above access at those and then two tail of knife so this end down here probably not gonna get that one out there struggle is real when you film it all real time but that's half the fun right Where would we be without fun YouTube videos of people tearing stuff apart and putting stuff back together? And where it's at, I don't know if we can get the tool in there to move it up a little bit. Yep, there we go. There we go. That's the two tail end of the knife. Used any of those? And I think the other screw I'm gonna have to take out. We'll see. So we got one in there, one in there. We need the other one for down there. Should be ready to go. So let's see. Be hiding in there. All right, let me get that other screw up here right back. All right, we're back. It was mixed in with those other ones I took out down below, so good pointer to take them out and put them off to the side, I guess. Oh well, it is what it is. So we got this side in. We don't have our pivot in yet. And we have, looks like, one more on this side to put in. So we'll put that one in for the liner. Back it out just a little bit before I tighten it down. 
just to make sure it doesn't cross thread. Okay, so we got our two top front, the backspacer, our two tail of the knife, two front above the axis up here. We have our two middle, and then we have this one down here. So I don't think, I think I'm gonna have to take that clip off. I'm going to. I gotta take that clip off to get to that other screw, that last one that's gonna go in, which is right here. So give me just a minute here to take that off. Hopefully they didn't put any Loctite or anything on it. Get that so you guys can see it, sorry. A little harder with the carbon fiber. A little bit darker. I'm gonna get my other light out. Anyways, I'm also looking for some ideas on the next round of giveaways. So, got some stuff coming up pretty quick. I'm probably going to, until I hit a thousand, my original goal with all of this was to every hundred subscribers do a giveaway. So, uh, the 500 was a bigger one for me. So that's why I'm giving away a couple knives to people, but I want to get back in so I can give to, you know, give back to people even outside the U S and do some maintenance stuff. So, uh, some more gear, some more maintenance equipment, those things you'll probably be seeing for like six, seven, 800, 900 and a thousand. I'm kind of planning right now. So got a couple ideas running around with what I'm going to do with it and going to basically go from there. So you guys are the ones supporting that and I greatly appreciate it. So I just want to give back and I know there's a couple of people out there that, you know, my friends at Benchmade, they've, uh, you know, paid it forward to me on a couple things. So I want to make sure to pass those along to you guys. That's why the Puko got included in my most recent giveaway. So just, you know, pretty excited about this and just overall, I guess, shocked at how awesome the knife community is. So Anyways, we got all this stuff back together. We're gonna put the pivot in next. And this is the struggle, so just kidding. So a flat spot on the right hand carry side. So we'll put this in. There is a flat spot of the pivot, if you can see that right there. This top piece right here is actually like D-shaped. So it's kind of got a flat spot, and that's gonna go basically up towards the top of the knife. So if I can get it lined up correctly. So I'll put my bit back underneath. If you heard that first little click, that went inside the first set of washers. And now we'll just basically work it through the rest of the way. Pull the access bar back a little bit. That always helps setting it. So you can see, pulling it back with one finger, kind of working it around a little bit. Dropping the bit, that always helps too. See if we can work it in there a little bit. This is where some people say, oh, it's just easier to take the whole knife apart. But you can struggle on camera and make it just totally real like every every other Joe, you know, average Joe. And you do it on camera and it's like, oh my gosh. So anyways, so we got that sunk in most of the way. Looks like it's got a little bit left. We'll probably draw it through with the other side. So we'll put this back on. And like I said, I'm not going to do any sort of um, blue lube or anything. Or, or not blue lube. Why did I say blue lube earlier? Loctite. Blue Loctite. I just want to get it set in there. Use it a little bit. Make sure it's what I want. And then I'll uh, take the screws back out and put it back together. So, Anyways, let me know what you guys think. We'll take a qu quick look around this here in just a second. Get it pulled the rest of the way through, I think. Hopefully. There we go. So we'll tighten it all the way down. I'll back it out a little bit here. See what kind of play we got. It's pretty loose. All right. So let's take a look at it. So here's your mini freak from Benchmade 565 with the aftermarket carbon fiber rogue blade work scales and backspacer 
which is carbon fiber as well. Just great, great craftsmanship work on it. There's texturing on this flat part through here, which is great because it, you know, helps with just being able to hold it. Um, you know, you can still feel the liners through here, which is good. The smidgen of the jimping at the top up here. Um, for me, you know, I'm getting all four fingers on there. So really like how this curves in. Not that the stock ones, you know, didn't have that. But, you know, here's your comparison. And just a little bit more pronounced on the Rogue. And then this contouring at the bottom and the top, it just makes it so much easier to hold. So anyways, I really dig these. Now I'm kind of partial on clips. So I'm gonna give out, you know, give this uh, carbon fiber one a try. Give that one a good run. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think this one, uh, for me, I'm gonna really enjoy it. I'm gonna carry it for quite a while, you know. I mean, here's my my mini freak in the Jade, and I've been carrying that one as well. So have to stay with the split arrow just so it matches, but I'm probably gonna switch out that split arrow one. Just put a standard deep carry on it. The Benchmade has, but let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Hope you guys have a great holiday and take care.